Well, it's coming up to 11 o'clock and I have just put my first coffee on of the morning. It should have been around 8. But at 8 o'clock I was looking at the conditions and thinking, well, it's looking really lovely. Uh, let's take out the, uh, the second reef that I still had in overnight and um, make, take advantage of a good wind and make really good speed. So I started doing that and as I was just um, winching away, I suddenly felt uh, the line give a little bit and I thought, well, that's odd, that shouldn't be happening. Stopped and went to the mast and sure enough, I had just found myself with a big problem. Basically the first reef luff line, because I have single line, I, well I have had single line reefing, uh, the cell then single line reefing up to now which requires a line from the uh, from the uh, forward end of the boom separately from the line at the aft end of the boom but there's a car in between that kind of joins them together anyway um, that line at the front end of the boom normally will attach to the reef point on the luff of the sail and that had basically come adrift at gone completely out of sight. I'm basically paying for my omissions. <laughs> uh, I laugh but it's actually very sad. I had seen that the knot that the rigger had put in, I think Canoe Cove, I think it must have been, uh, when my first reef line was replaced. The knot onto the forward end reefing point, the Kringle there, I'd seen a few days back, I'm not sure whether it was before I started or not, but anyway, I saw that that uh, knot was looking pretty short on line and thinking I should maybe do something about that. Um, it is a spectral line, which is a little bit slippy, so of course you have to be even more careful tying the knots to those. Anyway, that's gone. So basically I've lost my first reef. I thought, well, okay, I can just tie a line to the loft of the sail and um, I, I, I can manage that way. So I went and found a line, I tied it with great difficulty, taking a lot of time. I mean, the seas are pretty uh, a good size and we're crashing about a bit and the wind's quite good, so we're making a reasonable speed. And um, anyway, I got the line out, it was long enough, I led it, I fed it up, I managed to um, tie the uh, line end to the reef kringle thinking well right okay i've got myself my first reef back again but unfortunately the line the rest of the line that was inside the boom leading to the aft end of the boom is totally jammed um, i just cannot move it the sheave at the end of the boom is perfectly fine it's loose uh, but i cannot budge the line through the boom to take up on the uh, on the after end of the mainsail to reef it down there. I mean there is a way around that problem which I did when I did had my non-stop similar problem there I rigged up a line outside the boom for the last end of the uh, sail but in the meantime I've been trying to uh, just get, get us moving and um, hoping to avoid that. You know, I, I, I thought the, the green line the line inside the boom should be moving but presumably the bit of the blue line that was holding it to the forward end Kringle has gone and jammed in, 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 in its way somehow. It is not moving. So I've had to reef down to two reefs again, which is a great pity because we should be making about six knots or more. And we're lucky we're making four and a half. Anyway, uh, all a, bit, a little bit sad because I should be enjoying a really lovely sail down to the equator in lovely winds, lovely sky, there's no schools in sight, the forecast is pretty well for good conditions. should be really enjoying myself and here I am, I've just put my coffee on from 8 o'clock this morning and it's now 11. So it's been a bit of a stressful morning to say the least and I will have a look and see if I've got um, another line I can run from the aft end of the sail from the luff, uh, from the leech um, via a block which I'll have to dig out a block there I still got the block on the boom actually uh, near the front forward end from when I ran the line outside last time on my non-stop around again to save a similar situation the first reef had gone had snapped in that case 
so um, I had to replace the uh, line from the end of the boom. And yes, yeah, so eventually I'll probably get round to that because we've still got quite a way to go to the Marquesas. I think I'm seeing something like uh, 11, 12, 13 days still. So anyway, we're going to have a very nice coffee. We are going to try and push all this out of our mind a little bit, have our coffee, go and sit and enjoy the sun, uh, the seas and the fact that here we are heading down to the equator. We will soon be in the southern hemisphere and I think even at my uh, lower speed I made a reasonable speed overnight and um, I think we should still get to the equator in daylight so that'll be good. Okay so rather sad as I say paying for my, my omissions it does not manana does not work on a boat if you see something that is fixing you have to fix it now straight away before you forget about it or before something, before that item turns into a major problem. So yeah, I'm paying for the fact that I did not see to that knot when I noticed that it was looking a little bit dodgy. Great pity, but it meant that I could have enjoyed this morning a lot more. Okay, coffee time and I'm off to enjoy that. <laughs>